Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I am going to be talking about my April TBR. So, for the month of April, um, I picked out a few books that I want to read, and I'm also going to be doing the Magical Readathon. Um, as well because I always enjoy doing it so um, I'm gonna try to align some of the books in my TBR that I had picked out to the prompts of the magical readathon first things first um, I am going to be doing a buddy read with Ray from bookmark chronicles and we decided we were gonna buddy read a beast of ruin by Ayana Gray Ray read beast of prey last month I had told her that if at some point she reads it this year let me know and then I would love to but to read the second book with her because I just haven't I never got around to it last year <laughs> um or whenever I got this and so I really want to get to it because I did enjoy Beasts of Prey um so she read it last month and told me she finished it she liked it so she wants to get it on so I'm gonna go ahead and buddy did read this with her as well and I am looking forward to it I already borrowed the audio from my library so I'm just waiting for her to tell me when to start next I have picked a book I think it's like a mystery novel, mystery thriller maybe. I have seen everybody kind of talking about this book and it's the reason why I decided to go ahead and pick it up, especially because the audio I can get on Hoopla. So it's Everyone in My Family Has Killed Somebody by Benjamin Stevenson. Um, I don't know really what this is about, but I'm going to kind of go in without reading the synopsis and just hope for the best that I agree with everybody else that has read this book because I've heard nothing but good things. and. It's intrigued me, especially after reading And Then There Are None by Agatha Christie. Like, that book blew my mind with how good of a mystery novel that was. So now my, like, intrigue and mystery is definitely um, kicked in. And I'm trying to pick up things that I have a feeling I will enjoy. And so I think this is one of those books. Next, I have The Candle and the Flame by Nafisa Azad. I tried to read this last year and then I didn't get around to it, unfortunately. So I want to try and get to it this year. I really love the cover. It's so pretty. It was definitely a cover buy for me. From what I understand, it's about a girl who lives during the time of, like ancient times and she lives along the silk road and i guess her people or her city was like attacked and i think she managed to like develop some type of ability and yeah something along those lines i'm excited to check this out just because um i've never read something that took place around the silk road and i'm really intrigued to see how the author I want to describe the surroundings and the environment, if that makes sense. So I am hoping I can get to this and that I will um, enjoy it. So next I have A Funny Story by Emily Henry. This comes out in April. Um, I think it's April 24th. I know it's towards the end of April that it will be coming out. Um, but I, you know, I got I love Emily Henry. I know every year I got to pick up any book she's releasing. Um, so I am looking forward to this and I'm hoping I really enjoy it. Alright, and so the next book I have on this list is If It Makes You Happy by Claire Kahn. This is a YA romance. I believe it is a YA queer romance and it's a YA black girl queer romance. I could have just said that in one sentence, but I said it in three. Either way, it is that. So, um, I'm really looking forward to this. I don't really remember all the details. I think it's, she lives in a small town, maybe trying to go to college, something about the girl or person that she likes, I don't know. But I've been really wanting to read this for a while, so we're gonna, we're gonna throw it in there and hope for the best. And then for the Magical Readathon, I am trying for the career of healer. And um, so that means that the four prompts I'm going to be doing is Elemental Studies, Alchemy, Inscription, and Restoration. So for, for Elemental Studies, I have to call Lightning, which is a source of light on the cover. Alright, so I'm going to put Beast of Prey down for this because if you look here, like underneath, there's like bioluminescence almost or like fireflies on it. And they're a source of light. 
So we're just gonna go with that because actually none of the books I listed had a lot of it. So we're just gonna go with this. Next, Alchemy is Circles on the cover. And that one I actually can do Songs of Forever Rain because, sorry, it's on my phone, but there's a circle there, a circle, like it, it has circles on there. So we're gonna go with that. And then Inscription was Write Down Three, Pick One. And then the last one for, for restoration is a book you think could cure slumps. And so for that one, I'm going to do Funny Story. Does it have to be a fantasy book? Oh, well. If it's, it, it, I'm going to put Funny Story, and then I, ca I cannot remember, but if you have to read fantasy for this, <laughs> because it's slipping my mind, then I'm going to put The Candle and the Flame for that. You know what? I could have used The Candle and the Flame for The Source of Light. I'm dumb. Anyway, I'm really excited for this TBR. I think it's going to be really good. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be really good. I'm hoping I enjoy all the books <laughs> listed on this. So, yeah. If you guys like the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave all that in the comment section. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You are all some photos in the world full of tweets. Definitely let me know which you guys will be reading in April or what you're trying to read this spring or if there's new books coming out this spring that you're really excited for please and thank you